These are fully functional tinted glasses. It looks like it's mirrors on the inside, but it actually works perfectly well. So let's get on with it. So initially I created a paper template just to see if it, it felt all right. To me it looked okay in the playback, so I went ahead and I had some thumb mylar sheet to play with first, so I just uh, cell taped my template down onto that and then um, drew an outline with a whiteboard marker. Made the ears a bit longer because I didn't think they were quite long enough in the video. Then I tried to cut the material with my uh, hot wire cutter but I wasn't particularly happy with this sort of dense material. I'd rather cut foam which it does sort of very well. But we managed to cut it all out in the end and it was a lot easier just cutting around the nose section because that's quite a bit tight curve but seemed fine so I thought well I'll try it on to make sure it fits and with the mylar it just wants to fly off your face but um, I was checking for fitment really and doing a bit of a blue steel there uh, just to make sure it's all looking good and I thought I'll go and do the tinting anyway and here this material is just um, a big roll of sellotape really so you peel off the backing spray some soapy water down on what you want to adhere it to and then uh, place it on and try and squeeze out all the air bubbles. I used a uh, old um, credit card in the end just to try and get all the air bubbles out. Trimmed it all up and then went for fitting and flew off my face again. But it seemed to look okay so I thought well I'll figure I'll go for using the thicker pet sheet and um, I marked it out with a rule this time so I must have been business but I cut it with a coping saw rather than the hot wire cutter because I knew that wasn't going to be able to do the job particularly well. And then same deal again, I sprayed the film and the glasses at the same time and just pushed it down to get rid of all the air bubbles. Same process as the, the thinner material and then this stuff the same stuff they use for vacuum moulding, so just a bit of heat. I figured my head was the size of a pot, so I'll just use that to wrap it round. It seemed to go okay. Yeah, Doc Browns! And then uh, they looked a bit too thick for me. So I wasn't really into that design, so I just jumped into Fusion to try and design something a bit stylier. For this version, I'm just going to, I'm going to use the thin material and then just attach it to this sort of PLA bow. Um, but before I do that, I need to get a pattern off glasses off design. So we want to go through and create an offset in Fusion, select our faces, and then choose a sort of a one millimeter thickness to export it. And then you see there, there's making a see, but there's a extra bit there. So I just get the outside surface really, and I export that as an STL. Open that in Mesh Mixer, and then in Mesh Mixer we unwrap it and it gives you a flat profile of the design that you've got there. I opened that in Inkscape and 2 up it because I don't have an A3 printer. Stuck that down as I did the first time and used scissors this time because they were uh, more than happy to cut through this material. And same deal with the tinting, just um, squeeze out all the bubbles and hope for the best. Then for the PLA bow, I just crazy strong tape which I stuck around the edges and then trimmed off the excess with a, a razor blade and then um, slowly added it onto my newly tinted lenses. Good thing about PLA is you can design any shape right so if you want to make them a bit more square just put off a different shape and stick it back down again. It's a piece of cake. And they came out looking pretty good I thought. Tried them on and they definitely looked a bit stylier than the first version. There you go, all done. Uh, I think they came out pretty stylish, really. Probably could have painted that black or silver, but once they're on, you know, you can't see at all. I mean, the, the joy of it is that you can, with a 3D printer on this film and mylar, or whatever you want to use, you can make any sunglasses you want. You can copy anything you want off the internet. Uh, so that's it for this episode. The um, STL and the SVG if you want to make these exact glasses will be available in the show notes. Aside from that uh, there should be something here to help you subscribe because I like to make things that you can make and over here is how to make that uh, hot wire cutter if you haven't had the opportunity to do it yet. Cheers.